Moments after the tragic news of a collapsed classroom at Precious Talent Top School in Dagoreti <laughs> that left seven people dead and 64 others injured. Concerned Kenyans took to social media to condole with the families, expressing concerns over the safety of learners. President Uhuru Kenyatta, who is in the United States attending the United Nations General Assembly in New York, said state agencies are taking urgent actions to contain the situation and alleviate further suffering. Deputy President William Ruto, who visited the injured peoples at Kenyatta National Hospital, said the country must ensure that the learning environment for students is safe. In his condolence message, ODM party leader Raila Odinga said it was heartbreaking to lose young Kenyans in such a tragedy, adding that authorities owe Kenyans an explanation. Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko in a statement sent to the newsroom while assuring affected families and the school community of his support said buildings constructed or under construction without proper approvals will be demolished and those found culpable prosecuted. Other leaders, including Ford Kenya leader Moses Wetangula, termed the tragedy as man-made and called for the prosecution of those responsible. For Channel One News, I am Emily K. Bade.